we worked on our i'm gonna call it glorified starter factory so now we have motors plates uh stators all kinds of stuff being produced here but now that we have motors we have a need for encased industrial beams so then i went ahead and i researched some of our hard drives we found last episode and one of the things we got here is this encased industrial pipe so encased industrial pipe takes 24 pipe per minute and 20 concrete to give us four beams whereas the normal recipe takes 18 steel beams 36 concrete to give us four encased beams so i don't know which way i'm going to go here but i did set up our um i did upgrade our concrete up here so now we're producing 90 concrete per minute so what i'm probably going to do is set up a temporary encased beam area probably just down here we'll spaghetti it in so we can get this going so we we're also able to research solid steel ingots so for this one here by adding in smelting of our iron ore into ingots it actually lowers our costs and produces more so normally the recipe is 45 45 and it gives us 45 this is now 40 40 and it gives us 60. so by adding a little bit of power and a little bit of a footprint we get more steel and because i have a ton of beams and modular frames from the cleanup we did last episode up here I'm just gonna take both of these and pump them right back into an assembler so we can actually get the rest of our versatile framework done and kind of out of the way. I'm just gonna put power to this for now. And then just temporarily, I've put down four assemblers for our encased steel beams. So I'm using the awesome alternate recipe so it uses pipes and a little bit of concrete. It does make less per minute, but then I didn't have to tap into our steel beams. I'm just using pipes from down here. So we are gonna be taking a little bit of production from this, but everything is pretty much backed up at the moment anyways. So it's not a big deal. And this should give us enough shortly to be able to unlock our oil processing. And then as we need more of these, we're gonna need a ton of this stuff. So as we need more, we're gonna develop our steel factory more, and then we're gonna add this stuff over there, I think. I think that makes the most sense. And with a hundred of these, we can unlock our oil processing. So unlocking oil processing gives us the refinery and an oil extractor. Now, obviously the extractor goes on top of the oil well, which goes into a refinery, which will give us rubber and plastic. So this is gonna take 10 encased beams and 10 motors plus pipe and copper sheets. So I think what we're gonna do is, normally I build my oil stuff kind of over here there's like three or four big nodes we looked at this last episode we saw a bunch over there um but in since the update over in this area the top of the map the new spire area it's always had a ton of oil but they've redone it recently so i want to go explore and see if that's actually a place that maybe we do a bunch of oil stuff up there this time how how is this a thing i've barely oh no come on so i think this area has been like not completely redone, but fairly, fairly changed. Uh, get through the, oh no. We're in the poison plant area and I can't drive. I really love like the waterfalls and the overall look of this area. I've just never really known what to build back here, but I think if we could do an oil plant or something over this way, it'd be really cool. Uh, I really just love the look. They've done a lot of stuff out here. It's very, very different and there's a rock there. Uh, it's also annoying as hell to drive back here because there's rocks and stuff everywhere. There's limestone right there. It's an odd place for limestone. What's the chances this is like shallow enough to drive through? Our blood could fill the effigy veins for a resonant song. Scripture becomes harmony, becomes composition. Defile our temple and the threads will sew the windows open. There's a decent amount of nodes over here. Let's check these ones first. Look at the lizard doggos. There's like four of them kicking around here. Why is there so many? Okay, so this is a normal node. There's another normal node there, I believe. Nope, that one's impure. Hey, there's a hard drive back here. Can we get it? What is it? What does it need? What is that? Uh, computers. Did it really give us nine out of the ten we need? That's so, so rude. It's a good thing we got some encased frames. And gas novelists. Well, at least I'm finding a bunch of these uh, drop pods around. I'm not 100% sure that I want to be in this area, though. There's, it's, it's very, um, it's super pretty, but, like, I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like it. 
so i don't think this is the ideal location but you know what i don't see a lot of people build out here so we're gonna try it i think it's gonna end badly but we're gonna try it anyways so on our map here you can see we kind of went and explored this little bit of an area i didn't show all of it because it's not really that entertaining um there is a drop pod here we got one from back here somewhere uh all these little droplets here are all oil wells we found so i think these two here are both pure and the rest are all impure or like normal so the only problem we have is we're right here and our base is way over there so this is a lot farther away than we really should be uh going like the other stuff is right here so this would have been better i, I more ideal but everyone builds there i don't i want to be let's be unique so we are going to need a road or hopefully a train out here eventually i think this little valley right here is perfect for a train to run through uh when we get to that point what I gotta do is figure out how to finish our oil setup here. So basically what we have is we have one well here. It's only extracting 60 oil per minute. So I have to use this one right there as well. The problem is I'm out of cable, so I can't do it. Um, but here you can see once we have our oil producing, we have 30 per minute producing 20 rubber and 20 heavy oil residue. So I've got two rubbers and one uh, plastic. Plastic is 30 again, same thing, but it's 20 per minute and 10 residue. So that's gonna give us 60 residue out, which is a stupid number because petroleum coke needs 40 to make 120. So for producing 60, we're overproducing. So I might have to figure out, uh, and that was 120, right? 30 each? Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah I'm stuck. So, um, we're gonna end up with an excess of petroleum or heavy residue, which sucks because like we could go into fuel. Fuel would be also good. That would be 60, it'd be perfect. The problem with fuel, I can't do anything with it yet. We can't package it. I can't burn it. I can't do much. So I don't know. Um, but anyways, I need to run power out here because we don't have any power. I also have no cable. So I gotta run home. So this is a good time to unlock our expanded power infrastructure. And because I'm at home, I think we're gonna wait another two and a half minutes. I've got 200 rubber and 200 plastic. So we'll be able to actually unlock our fuel power generators, which means that all that extra fuel we're gonna get, we'll just convert it to fuel and we'll just burn it right off in a fuel generator. And that'll just add to our power. It makes perfect sense. We also need to do our jetpack really right away. Uh, we have everything we need for it. We need to do our hyper tubes as well because that'd be great transport but eh, you know go use so much of the time so i'm going to do this one real quick in two minutes and then we're going to go and run some power lines a few minutes later oh i thought i had 200. oh i'm an idiot um um i could have swore i had 200. Well, I guess I'm an idiot and I don't actually have plastic. So let's do our jetpack instead. Now, I don't know if we're going to need to have packaged fuel for the jetpack or how this works. I don't remember. Milestone reached. Let's Fix double check here. You the this increased uh, versatility. It needs you will no solid biofuel. Thankfully, I can make some. And while that's cooking up, let's check our MAM. I threw another hard drive in just to see. And we got a bunch. I mean, wet concrete's okay, but like we don't need mass amounts of concrete at the moment where we just have more nodes. We actually have another node um, not far from us that we're not even tapped into. Screws, I don't ever want to use. If I can avoid them, I will. Copper rotors, again, great except for screws. I, I don't, I don't care. We will go with the silicon circuit chips more, uh, circuit boards though, because we have silica and we can do copper sheets kind of over hmm, let's just take it and the last thing i want to do before we head back over to where our oil stuff is i want to get into our sam uh ore simply because the dimensional depot from what i understand is basically this is going to give us the ability to put something in it and then use it out of our inventory without having to have it on us which would be great for when we're doing things like this with we running a wire now, I've also gone ahead and cleaned out most of the megafauna stuff other than this last one. Uh, Caterium, I've grabbed everything we could. So I got the Mark II power poles, a couple other things. The Mark II power poles, I know some people have said, why don't I use them? Simply because I don't. I just never usually do, and I just didn't have them unlocked. Uh, other than that, I think that's everything we can do for the moment. I do need to get into some sulfur here very shortly. I just haven't paid attention to it, but I think we'll do that probably next year. 
because I'd like to get into the, the novelist detonator and start making explosives. And there we go. Sam ore is flowing. Now it's going to take a minute. It's uh, 120 per minute. It's going to make 30 and we're actually only producing 60 off of this node. So we're going to get some of this relatively quick. I have a little bit of extra inventory, but it's going to take a few minutes for us to get like a decent amount. Actually, I guess it's, I guess 30 a minute is actually pretty fast. We must go through a lot of this later on. Okay, well, we're going to have 10 here before I even uh, finish my sentence. So great. All right, let's see what we can do for dimensional storage now. So this should be, um, okay. I was thinking this was reanimated Sam. This is a Sam fluctuator, which needs, it can only be done in the crafting bench right now. So it's got three items. That means we have to wait till the manufacturer to do that manual or uh, automatically. Interesting. All right, let's do 14 of these for now, at least. We'll get this unlocked. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. We. What is this stupid alien thing? Consume more blood. What the? What is that? Um. Okay. So the Dimensional Depot has an expansion slot of 200%. Manually. So up enables uploading from the inventory and then upload speed. But these all require multiple Mercer spheres. There must be an absolute ton of Mercer spheres in the world then. So the depots take one Mercer sphere, 10 uh, of those things. So yeah, there's gotta be a ton of Mercer spheres in the world then, cause you need one per each of these. So let's see how these things actually work. They're just basically a storage, uh, drop items here to upload. It uploads at 15 per minute. Only one way in. So you can only do one stack. That takes forever to do. Um, I'm thinking we use concrete just because we're going to use it the most, I guess. Uh, that 200% upgrade is going to be good, but it's only one stack to start. That's not amazing. Um... What's the best way to do this? I want to put it up here, but I want to also split this. So for now, I guess we'll put it there. This is going to be ugly. <laughs> so it is cool that now we can actually see it from here. So take from inventory before depot. I don't know what that means. Enough being distracted. Let's see if we can actually do power now. How far do these things actually go? I mean, they go a decent ways. Um, I guess we can put them down here. Power is run. I've also set up storage here. I've got some fluid buffers. I've put in some piping. I've added our second, ugh, I've added our second extractor here. So basically if I put power from here to this mark to, that's not what I wanted. If I put power from there to there this should turn on and we should get well no um but why the question is but why so somewhere along the lines i didn't connect honestly what's the chances that i didn't hook up the first one <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever done, probably. Um, let's upgrade this to a Mark II. <laughs> we'll just go like that. All right, we should be producing oil now. This should be pumping now. We should be getting oil coming through here, producing plastic. Because we don't have fuel unlocked yet, um, we're gonna have, are the fuel generators unlocked yet? We're just gonna store our excess heavy oil residue in here. And then as soon as we get um whatever i think i need like 80 plastic as soon as we have that done we will get the fuel generators hook that up add some power burn this all off and then go from there now that we actually have 200 plastic let's unlock our petroleum power and honestly we can actually start looking at our mark four belts as well we are gonna have i didn't grab the rubber but i can run back and get that so let's set that up um packaging we'll be able to do We'll be able to do all of tier five pretty much 
right away now that we have the fuel generator unlocked we'll set up a refinery here set this to residual fuel basically it's going to take 60 heavy oil residue residue per minute turn it into 40 fuel i'm going to bank it into this large industrial storage there and then we're going to pump it into here which i don't know how much this actually takes per minute it takes 20. if i read i would know that let's set up a second one and let's try to burn all 40 this a minute because if we can do that basically it's an extra 500 or so uh megawatts of power now the only bad thing is we're gonna have to set up a sink out here because if i do that as soon as these things fill up with their you know plastic and rubber this is gonna stop which is gonna kill the burning of that power which it won't be a huge deal except for if we rely on that extra 500 which we're probably going to so yeah this might be a really stupid question i've got this much heavy uh heavy residue left in these two tanks but if i put it back in here does it suck out of this into the into the refinery or does it just fill some of it here this is a dumb question i think because now it's going back up Does it need to be above? I mean, that would make sense, right? This, I guess, makes no sense because it's downhill. No, it's going down. Okay, no, it does work. Okay, um, it's, you know, it was the stupid question then. Um, just, just partially. So consistently now, we should be making 40 a minute. That should let us basically get an extra 500 power basically i mean it's obviously not consistent though uh not yet anyways because we don't have enough in here now that we have rubber and a ton of modular frames let's get our mark four belt so we can actually start sending a stupid amount of resources not just this 270 nonsense uh so the only bad thing is the mark four belts they give us two uh 480 which is a stupid amount of resources but they take the encased beams so i'm gonna have to actually make a proper encased beam i guess factory or area which i want to do it over in our steel area i think i think i found something i shouldn't have found Thankfully, he can't hit us, I don't think. But I don't know that I'm hitting him either. All right, well, at least we can uh, kill these guys from afar. So there is a drop pot up there, but there's uranium, and I can't get close enough. I'm wondering if I can go, like, around it, but I don't know. There is iron up here, though. No, I can't get close. Oh, wait, what? Part of the drop pod is here. Where is he? Uh, it's invisible. Nope, they're just very well camouflaged. So what was up there then? I could have swore I saw a drop pod up there, but it's right here. There's definitely something orange up there that I thought was a drop pod. All right, well, whatever. Looks like there's uranium up there. I'm just kind of looking around to see what else is over here. I do know that over this way, like way up in those hills there so our home is that way our steel plants right there um over this way along this coast i'm pretty sure right through that hole there should be a hard drive um i'm just seeing if there's anything else over this way this has all been like redone i had never been back here i don't know what that is there's something orange there there's also like a tier three or tier two uh bug nest over there i don't think i can hit it from here look at all the but look at all the there's so many power shards around here nope another purple one no matter where i look here there's two power slugs here there's another one right there i believe like there's so many another yellow one over there a purple one right here like there's i don't know what is with this area but they made so many power slugs out here 
So I'm kind of just looking. I have to run back. I think this is one I already got, but there's one just over here somewhere that uh, I want to grab of the drop pods. But eventually, so right back in here, there should be two or three of the pure oil nodes down in this little valley here. I think we should probably build like a big plant out here. Now, I'm not a huge fan of building like up in the sky, but obviously we have to build like higher than these things. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do out here, but it won't be as bad as I was originally thinking because there's lots of space. But we might also actually just build into these hills and stuff. I think that would look cool if we did something that actually like fit the world. Let's grab this apparently. Another yellow one just randomly as I'm jumping around. It's pretty ridiculous. And just running around this little area here by our oil plant there, I was able to get two blue shards of slugs and I left a ton of other ones I saw just off the distance. Four purples and six yellows. Actually ridiculous. I feel like this video is basically just me clicking and unlocking things because We've basically finished all of Milestone tier five ready. now, but now we can start working on tier six. Now, obviously I need to ramp things up. We can't just go from like what we did to this, but I really want to start figuring out, I mean, we can do all this to get the manufacturer, but I want to start working on trains. I think that's gonna become really important, especially if we're going to have oil far away. So we're going to need to figure that out. Uh, piping has become really big. The Mark II, uh, blueprint designer will also be pretty big but the first thing i want to do though is we need to ramp up our steel production and start getting um these encased industrial beams a lot more a lot more solid having this little makeshift factory is not good it's just like unlocking stuff i feel like i'm just clicking to unlock everything today um we have another drop pod here another hard drive that we did so continuing with circuit boards i feel like this will be really important because the other one we have um, if I go into here and I do circuit, oh, I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was. For some reason, I was thinking it needed three items, but it doesn't. So we currently have 15 copper sheets and 30 plastic for seven and a half, or we can use 27 and a half copper sheets, 27 silica for 12 and a half, or we can go here and do 12 and a half, 37 and a half quick wire for 875. I don't know if these are important at the moment. I think this is big, but I'm not 100%. I guess this would make sense because it's more readily available than like silica. I don't know why we would do heavy oil residue at the moment. Uh, we will eventually for like fuel and stuff, I believe. But for now, I don't think that's critical. Now at our very, very ridiculously small steel factory, we are producing 300 um, iron ore per minute, which we can't even have on the belt. We can only do 270. So we're overproducing at the moment. We just did that to fill the belt uh, at one point because it wasn't quite getting us enough. So we went up, but now we can actually ramp it up. Let's actually put this in. Why not? But then the thing is, I want to start figuring out how to expand this even more. So now in our foundry here, we are taking in 45 iron ore and 45 coal to do 45 steel ingots. But if we go with our alternate recipes now in our foundry for a solid steel ingot, if we use 40 iron ingots and 40 coal, we can do 60 steel ingots. What I need to do is I need to actually start figuring out how we can do um, like a section of constructors to do iron ingots from our iron node up top and then filter that into more steel because that's a huge amount. And then eventually we're going to get, I don't know if we can get the unlock for it yet, but eventually we're going to get a, uh, an iron alternate recipe that takes water and makes your iron get more. I forget what it is, but you can really multiply everything with that through refiners later. A few minutes later. So I've kind of jumped ahead a little bit from the last clip. Basically, I've been spending most of this episode kind of second guessing myself on where I want to do builds and what I want to do. You know, we're over here in this area for our oil factory and pretty much everything I've done for this series or that I want to do is I want to build like individual areas. I don't want to build like a giant mega factory. But in doing that, you have to like kind of like foresee the the buildings. And I've been struggling a little bit, which is is cool. It makes it interesting for me. Hopefully it's interesting for you guys. So the one thing about it is this little like car park thing we have here, it's kind of dictating what I'm where I'm building this because I wanted to do it here initially. I think though, we're gonna rip this out, 
what I'm thinking is actually putting this steel factory up on this hill and then like build off this ledge here, up over the hill, hanging off the side over here. I think that would actually be a lot cooler to do. We do have to get some uh, some explosives to blow up this thing here. And I think we can blow up the gas things back there. I want to try that, which we'll probably do before the end of the episode today. But I want to see if that's the thing, uh, if that's something we can do. Because if it is, we're going to change this whole thing. But anyways, for the moment, we need to get our steel back up and running because everything is down. I actually tore everything out and redid it really quick just because we've upped our production. So... What I've done here is I've actually overclocked twice. So now we are doing 480 iron ore. This is kind of a waste of over overclock is kind of a waste in a lot of senses because it uses more power, but it's fine for now. So 480 will fill an entire belt, which gives us uh, 12 smelters also going to output 480 iron ingots. And then that's going to come down here into our smelting area or our foundry area which these are just new blueprints I made so that we can you know, put more of these as we need them. We probably won't need them though. We'll probably do it differently next time. But these are gonna take in the 40 ingots uh, per foundry and they're gonna output 60. So there's 12 of these outputting 60, which I'm dividing up into 18, uh, 18 constructors. So six here are gonna do steel beams. These 12 are going to do steel pipes. And then at the very end of this, we're going to split this off with this smart splitter. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, overflow or just any, like I just split it uh, three ways. But basically these four are going to, these four assemblers are going to make reinforced, uh, sorry, encased industrial beams using the steel pipe recipe. But now the thing left to do, we need to turn this thing on and make sure it actually works. So we'll crank this on. This is going to only power the upper level here. All this stuff is going to be attached to that. Below, I have another switch just so we can kind of separate these things. So this should be producing. It looks like it is. Obviously, everything is green, I think. And let's hope that the bottom area is actually hooked up properly. I think it is. Um, green throughout here. Those are green. Looks like we're running now-ish. So why aren't these going? Our concrete doesn't have power. That would be a reason why <laughs> this isn't going. So now that our limestone has power, we can actually start producing concrete. Now I am overclocking this to 180 just to accommodate all of these constructors. They take 45 in to make 15. So we're actually gonna be running, um, we're actually gonna be running at a bit of a deficit here. We're only producing 60, I just realized, but we're taking 80 up top. So one of those actually isn't gonna be working which is fine, we'll just turn it off. It's not a huge deal. I don't really want to overclock another one of these. We could, but I don't think it's worth it. It's always nice to see a build back up and running when you've tore it completely apart and you're not sure if it's gonna work again, but it looks like this is working out properly. We are getting quite a bit sent back to our main base. But now while we're just killing some time here, I'm going to go and see if we can get our sulfur going. I want to get explosives. I think the closest node is just over here. If they haven't moved it, yeah, okay, right there. And that's, that one I bet you is on top of the hill. Uh, way over there. Okay, yeah, so they haven't changed the sulfur nodes. So, but I, this one here, there's only one there. And I think there used to be two. So I guess they did change that. Um, but let's go get some sulfur running. There's only one sulfur node here. And there definitely used to be two. But that, where is it? I don't think this used to be here though. Maybe, maybe it did. Um, but this is usually a, oh yeah, yeah, I think it was actually. This is a cool, Jesus. Oh, and there's two of them. Oh yeah, that's, that's not fair at all. You can't just spawn in front of me. So what I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted is if this road is where I think it's going to go, this will lead right into our power plant, basically, which, oh, there's spiders. Of course, there's spiders. Yeah, so it's right back to our power plant. 
we might be able to build a road or something down through here then that's a really cool idea uh i don't know if this is new or not but um i definitely don't think i've ever used it before so this is basically the only sulfur node we've got close by but i don't think um where have i not researched gunpowder yet i haven't actually okay i i need 50 sulfur and i'm only getting one okay no no let's let's just put power to this now <laughs> i'm not about to do that for 20 minutes well i was hoping that we were going to be able to make like a like a black powder munitions factory but there's no coal close to here so i think eventually we'll figure that out so i should be able to do the novelist detonator also you might have noticed that i added the dimensional depot to our wires here because i kept running out and it was super annoying so that's now going I'm gonna make probably like, I don't know, let's make like a bunch of these things. I wanna keep, I think I gotta keep like 20 of these um, black powder. Actually, I'm gonna keep 50 because I said 50 and I stopped too shallow, too late. Let's make a few more uh, because there is a drop pod not far from us. Somewhere up here, right there. This one here always takes black powder and it's always one that I never like end up getting. There's like a whole route of uh, like of uh, drop pods you can go do. Usually I do like two or three laps and grab like 30 of them. Um, this We're about halfway through like the, the ones close to our base. There's a whole bunch over this way. There's this one and then there's one just down this river area, which we we'll might as well go grab actually now. It took two. I thought it took 50 for some reason. Ow, 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 ow. And these ones are always my like early game ones to try to get but that last one i always end up never going back for it because like black powder you don't really think about i don't use explosives a whole lot and then once you have it like you gotta remember to go back and do that and it's just not something i remember so there is one more out that way but for today we're not going to worry about it i think we're going to do a whole run through there and come back for those later what i do want to do though while we're here is i want to equip our novelists and i think we're going to blow this up That's not... Okay, that was the weakest throw ever. My game just lagged real bad. Whoa. Uh, okay. My game does not like this explosion. I think I'm okay. Uh, my game auto saved at the same time that I threw that and it did not like it. It seems they are somehow organically emulating human speech. Fascinating. Continue exposing yourself. Excuse me? Artifacts. <laughs> I'm glad they clarified to alien artifacts. Um, There should be... They removed it. There used to be a Caterium node right here. Man, they made like these areas a lot different than they used to be. Um, so this up here then, is this still Caterium? Yeah, okay, so there's only one in the area now where it used to be two. Uh, this area here where I used to like always start my factory, this is my first Caterium node that I ever used right here. So let's see here. I'm really hoping we can remove those gas nodes. Um, I just don't remember if we can explosives are they do not like my game wow so i don't know what it is but some of these rocks it's not all of them but some of them definitely wait what the hell there's a sulfur node right here okay no it's not a node okay Whew. i was gonna say if i went that whole way and there was a sulfur node there i was gonna be a little upset um so i was, I was trying to say is some of the rocks just don't seem to be uh the explosions don't they don't like it all right, moment of the truth. You can blow them up. Well, that means that we can, not that I'm gonna build this far over. I just wanted to make sure if we did wanna build up here that we could. Well, I think I'm done playing with explosives for today, uh, but going into the next episode, we're gonna unlock our industrial manufacturing to get the manufacturer computers, our modular engines, our adaptive control units. These we're gonna need to complete phase three, and I don't know what they actually take. 
So we're going to have to figure that out and then start planning on whatever builds that's going to require. Um, but I'm going to spend a little bit of time, I think, just kind of completing some of these builds we've done. Like uh, this building still isn't finished. I'm thinking our steel factory, I might make some changes to. And honestly, I might actually go and expand our power between episodes. I don't know if I'll do that on camera or not. I might do it after. It's just going to be building. So I think we'll, I think I'll spend some time doing that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to call this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, hit the like button. And as always, I'll see you next time.